Hey guys, Jimmy H with Ask Jimmy. Thanks for stopping by with another video for you guys. Uh, today I'm talking to talk about free money, all right? But before I talk about it, you know, I want to get all the disclaimers out of the way. Uh, entertainment purposes only, like I always say in my videos. Um, these are my opinions, and of course, I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not your financial advisor, at least. So uh, take what I say with a grain of salt and make your own decisions, all right? Uh, so as you can see on the title, you know, free money, right? We're going to get to the board in a little bit, but um, free money could be mean a lot of things. But for this particular video, I'm just talking about using the bank's money to pay off more debts. All right, you know, you know my channel, you know there's a financial channel, so it's all about paying debts, using other people's money, leveraging, uh, making sure you get the best option out of it, right? So the reason why I did this video is because I am coming upon a month, another month, uh, my 0% interest uh, rate credit card of 18 months is expiring from Citibank. So I am in the process of looking for a new bank that's gonna give me roughly a year and a half to two years of 0% interest that I could transfer my balance that I have Citibank over to the other bank, right? I've been searching, there is Wells Fargo's, there is uh, Bank of America, there's other banks, Chase, I think even have something, uh, but I think I might be leaning towards either Bank of America or Wells Fargo, um, but I don't know yet. Uh, they both have, I think have 18 months if not 18 months, it'd be 16 months. So, so something to that uh, effect, 0%. So when we go to the board later, I am going to talk to you about what my plans are. But yeah, guys, uh, try to leverage as much money as you can, free money, right? If the bank's going to willing to let you borrow money, why not just use their opportunity, use their money to pay off other people's money, right? Um, so yeah, let's go to the board and I'll show you, uh, what I'm going to try to do with my current situation. All right. Talk to you in a all bit. Right, guys. So back to my board, I wrote free money. All right. So I'm going to write you what my current situation is and then, um, tell you exactly what I'm going to do. All right. So I got a Citibank credit card right here. I still owe roughly 9,000 roughly. All right. And it's currently charging me 0% interest. And it's gonna expire, I believe, November of 21, All right? Citibank, I owe a balance of 9,000. I currently still only paying 0%, so I haven't paid anything, but that promotional rate's expiring in 2020, I mean, November 21, right? So, I'm searching around, I'm searching around for another bank that would really give me money. I have uh, a Wells and a B of A. And I'm going to, of course, I'm going to have a zero balance if I do get it, right? Um, and then, of course, 0% interest. And it's giving me, I believe, the, I got to double check on it, but I believe it's another 18 months on both, all right? 18 months from when I, of course, uh, transfer the balance over, right? So, we don't know which one I'm going to go with. I might go with, uh, if you hear a bell or nothing, that's actually my cat. Uh, I'll show you her real quick because she's right by my leg. Here. This is Pearl. Uh, we just adopted her. She's probably like a little kitten. And that's the bell that you just heard. <laughs> So if you hear the bell and she's not on the frame, it's her walking around my leg, all right? So, uh-oh, she's looking at herself. Say hi, Pearl. Say hi to you, too. All right, let's put her back there. All right. So, I got a city bank that's expiring in November. I could apply for Wells Fargo or B of A or better yet, both, right, if I need it. But let's just say I will take the first option, all right? Well, swaggle. Hey, you jumped on the screen. All right, sorry, guys. Uh, Pearl jumped on the laptop and then uh, blacked it out. So I had to uh, cut that segment and restart, all right? So anyway, where were we? So let's go with the Wells Fargo. It's for 18 months, right? So I'm not going with the Bank of America. I don't need to transfer and open two cards, right? Um, so 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to open it, open this Wells Fargo, transfer this 9000 into here, right? So imagine this. I haven't been paying for 18 months to Citibank. Um, what this balance was before was 15000 All right. So during the course of the 18 months, which is now 16 months, because I got two more months left before November, um, I paid up only roughly 6000 right? Um, so I still have this balance. And plus, I don't want to pay any bank any interest if I don't have to, right? I'm going to use this thousand, open up the Wells Fargo credit card. 18 months from now is what? 18 months is a year and a half. A year from now is uh, September of next year. So it'll be March, right? March of what? 23, right? So I'm going to transfer this 9,000 over. And let's just say I, I pay by the same rate. So by March of 23, if I continue to pay, I will only get 3,000 left, right? Roughly, let's just roughly, let's just say roughly I have 3,000 left. So I bet by that, this time, I'm gonna have to look for another credit card to transfer this into, right? So for three years, by this time it'll be three years on my original, Debt right here on my original fifteen thousand, I pay zero percent interest. I only pay a uh, fee, a transfer fee, opening of transferring the thing is like a five percent fee, a five percent of euro balance. So I pay five percent here initially, and now I'm going to pay another five percent here, right? Uh, let's see what five percent of fifteen k was. I I I'm going to ask Alexa, all right? Alexa, what's five percent times fifteen thousand? 5% times 15,000 is 750. So I pay 750 initially. Alexa, what's 5% times 9,000? 5% times 9,000 is 450. 450. All right. So in total, 750 and 450. I'll write it down here so it's not too much the right here. So in total, it's going to be $1,200. Right? 750 four plus 7 is 11. 50 plus 50 is 100. So that's $1,200. I don't need Alexa for that. I can do the math. Um, so my opening two credit card, I only really paid the bank $1,200. And you guys say, so it's not really free money. But if you calculate the interest that you'd be paying for three years with a $15,000 $15, balance is going to be way more than 1200 correct? And if I don't want to open another credit card, say, I'll just aggressively pay this 9000 off. So by the time March 23 turns around, I will owe nothing. And then all I had was really the $1,200 that I paid, right? So that's what I call leveraging someone else's money to pay your own debt um, practically for free. Minus the fee, of course, a twelve hundred dollar fee. Um, if I didn't want to pay off, I mean, pay this one, I would aggressively pay the fifteen hundred, maybe yeah, the fifteen thousand within the you know time frame that they gave me. But I just took the minimum route. I paid minimum. When I had a little bit extra, I pay a little bit extra. Uh, but pr mostly just the minimum. And um, November's coming around the corner, like I said. I'm going to open this uh, Wells Fargo credit card, 18 months again, 0% interest, March 23rd, 2023 will be the end of that term before they start giving me interest, and I'll just transfer it to another credit card if I don't pay it off, and that's how you use the banking system, and the reason why I do this, here's the reason, um, I'm leveraging. Leverage, right? Why do use my own money and take away from my savings or whatnot to pay somebody else's debt? I mean, my debt is to somebody else when I can get a 0% interest loan, credit card, whatnot, right? Line to pay off. That's as leverage, right? Second one is cash flow. By me only paying, having to pay the minimum and not worrying about paying like the 20% interest or 1499 interest or whatever interest that it may be, 
I have more cash flow. So let's say the minimum is 150 every month, right? If I pay that every month with an interest rate, it's going to be way more than that, right? So maybe even maybe 100 will go towards interest and 50 will go towards principal, right? Yeah, principal, right? So I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to pay 150 and save the cash flow for other, other purposes, right? Other bills that I have or other investments that I do. Um, so leverage and cash flow, correct? And it's free. The title of the video is free. Who doesn't like free money, right? Why would I why would I not take the offer on? It's free. And get this, get this. This is actually it'll be number four reason, but it actually should be the best reason, right? You can see, I told you could, yeah, you can see a fourth one here. Fourth reason. Those of you know me personally or from the youtube channel should already know the answer to that right this will only help credit score and i will have a video on it on this particular topic on how it will help but quickly it helps you because bank system uses your debt to income ratio and how much available credit and how much liability you have, right? So, if I pay off this credit card, wipe it clear, and get this, it was a fifth, actually, I think the credit limit was 16,000. I used 15 of it, right? Now, I wiped it out. It's kaput, I paid it. So now that clear up 16,000 credit limit, right? Credit scores love it because Jimmy just paid off basically fifteen thousand, and now he has a sixteen thousand credit card that spending limit, but he's not even using it. Wells Fargo, yes, I'm gonna transfer the nine k in, but this card probably gonna give me probably let's just say fifteen for for example, fifteen thousand again, okay? So I only use nine k, but I have fifteen thousand. So 15 plus 16 is 31K. Credit limit, right? Credit limit. But I only owe 9,000. Are you guys following me yet? I, like I said, I might do another video. But just to quickly explain why I think this would be number one, is because now the, the credit bureau is going to look at, okay, Jimmy, out of the two credit cards, he has a $31,000 spending limit, but he's only using 9K. So he has quite a bit of leverage left, but he's not using it. And he's paying on time. I'm paying every month. I'm just not paying interest, right? But I'm paying every month. So that's how it boosts your credit score. It doesn't hurt it. It boosts it. It helps it here because I'm wiping this out. And it helps it here because now they see that I have 31000 but I only owe nine. So my credit, I mean, my debt to, it, but my debt to uh, credit uh, availability is much, much lower get it the higher this number the lower this number or it could be the same number let's say i have a hundred thousand here credit limit and i leave this at nine right if you divide this number right it's a much lower number than that number it's definitely much lower than that number right so overall here's the four reason there might be more but leverage cash flow technically free besides your transfer fee and it helps your credit score out. And I've been doing this for quite a bit. Um, I have credit cards that zero balance uh, or credit cards that I use just to pump gas, just to pump gas, right? Or a credit card that I use to pay bills with, right? I get cash back, I get point rewards. Um, and now I'm gonna get another credit card just to continue paying my 9,000 that I really owe like maybe four or five years ago um, to March, 2023. And don't pay any interest. Just pay this. Uh, what was Alexa saying? It was it was four fifty for the nine thousand, and continue on. And then, like I say, if I don't pay it, I'll walk my three thousand left. I'll roll to another credit card by then, get another zero percent interest, and go from there. All right, guys. So I will definitely do a video on this uh, topic more. But sorry for the mess. But uh, that's kind of why uh, free money 
is the best money, especially when it's not your own. All right, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for another, uh, another video support. Thumbs up if you, uh, if you like it. Thumbs down if you don't like it. And if you have any comments or anything, put it in the description below. If you're a new subscriber or you're a new viewer, actually, consider subscribing. And then uh, if you like my content, of course, continue subscribing. Click the like button so that way uh, the community and YouTube will help me out. All right. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. And uh, until the next time, I will talk to you later. Take care.